Hi everyone and welcome back to Matt's Plants. So we're just going to have a quick look at my carnivorous plant bog as we go sort of into spring here in the UK. I did do another video with sort of what I'd done to, to trim things and prepare things but it was a bit uh, disjointed so we won't use that. So you can see the pingicula uh, are just sort of coming out of their winter hibernation. The saracenias have been um, divided up and moved around a little bit but they're starting to flower. You see the flower buds coming up. Uh, the Venus flytraps again also looking kind of a raggedy state but you're starting to see new growth um, just coming out there and that'll progress as, as summer goes along and we get some warmer temperatures. So pings are dyed around everywhere. I just I broke a few off uh, the hibernicula and then shoved the buds in all over the shop. So the saracenias were picked up and divided, um, trimmed off some of the dead pitchers, cut off some of the really ratty looking pitchers, although obviously as you can see, they're kind of still in a bit of a sorry looking state. Flowers are coming up. My drosera, um, my sundew there will hopefully come back. It always has in the past. It sort of goes dormant in the winter. I'm not focusing, but you get the idea. There's another one somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm hoping that comes back as well. See the flowers are the, like the spikes there coming up. Um, this obviously got huge. So my pingicular uh, papyria got absolutely massive and needed to be trimmed down. And then, yeah, the pingicular, which I'm looking forward to. They have such beautiful flowers in the spring. Also in my garden, because I leave it rough and ready, you can see the oxycillus, which gets everywhere, but also these violets come out, which is quite nice. And a few pots of pings that I kind of just mess around with. I really wanted to give some of these away this year. I never quite got around to it. But they'll have a lovely display of flowers before too long. Um, sadly, things keep seeding in the peat. Uh, the other issue, I can't redo the bog at the moment because it's so hard now to get peat. I mean, I understand the, the rationale behind it, but sadly, if you're growing peat plants, you kind of need some peat. Okay, so... A little bit of a quick video and uh, that's about it for now. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time with some more plants.